Open science can lead to inclusivity and accessibility and make science more robust. Sharing tools, best practices, and challenges can help further the goals of scientists, as Paige Martin can attest. Paige is a support scientist at NASA, and she joins us now to sing the praises of open science. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So AGU has been talking about open science all week. Tell us why this is important. Open science is what science is meant to be. It's meant to be something that really serves society, that benefits society, and that can benefit everyone in society. So the idea of open science is that we share our science. We're sharing our data. We're sharing our code. We're sharing our results openly. But it's not just about the sharing. It's also about the people. It's the collaboration, making sure that we're thinking about how we're doing our science and that it's inclusive uh, and that it's equitable. And I'm really excited to see AGU really embracing that this year. Give me a few more examples about how it can improve you know, research and learning in these wide variety of scientific fields. There are a range of examples. Um, one specific one uh, that I like to share is about how making our data more available can actually increase the science that we are doing and um, benefit science in ways you might not even think about. So this particular example is about um, a radar data set um, that is uh, it's NEXRAD radar. It's usually used for meteorological data sets. Tracking atmospheric phenomena is what we often use uh, when we look up weather patterns. This data set's been used for many decades, and there was a NASA-funded study that looked at uh, how that data can be used to study birds and bird behavior as a result of changes in the climate. So it turns out that birds are also tracked, not just weather patterns. Um, so that's an example where the people who put the data set up had no idea that the bird community would be able to use this, and it, it enabled new types of science. That's really cool. I'm curious a little bit about how AI and machine learning fit into some of this stuff, because I know there are some problems with, you know, how factually accurate is this information? Like, how do we take advantage of these technologies without getting perhaps bogged down in some of the uh, pitfalls? That is an excellent question. Um, <laughs> I will say I'm not an expert in AI or ML, mm -hmm. machine learning, but these are going to be important tools. So I think a lot of open science to me is what science was meant to do, but we couldn't do in the past because of kind of these very physical challenges. Um, like we had to physically have access to a university library to get access to journal articles, that kind of thing. These advancements like personal computers, Wi-Fi, um, internet in general, uh, really transformed our society. And I think, to me, open science is kind of catching up. Is like, mm -hmm. this is making sure that we're actually taking advantage of those advancements. And I think artificial intelligence and machine learning are kind of another societal advancement that we are seeing right now. And I think it is something that we absolutely need to embrace, but we do need to be cautious about it and make sure that you know we are doing quality science um, but making use of these tools. So it's fair to say that you love open science. And yes. I have heard that you love it so much that you actually wrote a song about it. Would you be willing to share that song with us? Would I? <laughs> I would love to. Thank you for asking. I will clarify, I did not write the song, but I wrote lyrics to the song, and I even brought a backing track. <laughs> you were prepared. I was prepared. All right. Sometimes I do a little dance. Oh, okay. I'll, yeah, I'll spare you the dance today. <laughs> we'll stick with the music. I am lonely and sad doing my PhD. <laughs> Rerunning others' results unsuccessfully. The data's not shared, nor is any code. It just isn't fair. How much time I spend reproducing, and there's no transparency. Just two words that I heard someone say. I need those words to help me find my way. Whoa, open science. What a great idea. My, my, how could I resist you? Open science, you have me in your thrall. <laughs> Open science is for all. Yes, I was sad and lonely until I found this community. 
my, my, I will never look back now. AGU, by now you all should know. Open science is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. That was really fun. <laughs> Paige Martin, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. This has been great.